I just wanted to opine on that because I've been watching the renewable fuel market for 25 years in the state of Hawaii, and I've watched a lot of um, uh, what food companies that would call themselves global companies come and go, and, um, and especially around the algae promise. You know, at one point, algae is going to be the savior of the world, and we're going to get all of our energy out of algae out of four acres in Utah, I think it was originally. And so I think as we go forward and we're starting to talk about a global market, we have to really focus on community-based and how that's going to benefit us because what I've seen is we, we start talking too big and globally and we attract all these companies coming from different parts of the world into Hawaii. And sometimes they get special purpose or revenue bonds, sometimes they get grant and aid, sometimes they get um, invest local investment, sometimes they get um, little tax benefits. And um, I haven't seen in, in, in my space that the city of Bayaviso plays in um, has been in for 25 years. I haven't seen a lot of those come to fruition. And I, and I don't see um, a lot of that directly benefiting local people or um, you know the types of values that we've been talking about for Ahukua uh, um, investment. So I think I just want to caution that we're real careful that we don't we don't put that out in the ethos and, and start looking at going too global before we figure out how that is going to benefit us locally. So I, I, I'm, I think the best thing I got out of this um, out of this conference has been just a really clear understanding of the Ahukua, our values, and how they actually are broader than ESG, I think, and I think they're also more measurable because they are all about the things like community-based, which is what I've really been focused on for 25 years, how to keep everything as community-based as possible. So just thank you all for being here, for focusing on and keeping that conversation in there.